A very typical feature of Russian philosophy consists of different aspects of the well-known Russian maximalism, all or nothing, which is reflected not only in the Orthodox Christian tradition, not recognizing any purgatory, which basically means either heaven or hell, but also, for example, by radical communistic or anarchistic materialistic movements, aiming to redesign the world world order referring to universal cosmic structures. And not being a part of the European Renaissance, Russian society jumped directly into 20th century scientific communism from a spiritual medieval mental world that had also not faced any major reformation except the reforms of Peter the Great, inspired by the progressive Protestant Northern Europe. And by the way, this Russian emperor was seen as antichrist by many of his contemporary countrymen. Peter the Great inseminated ready-made Western standards and patterns to a mainly conservative, rural, preserved Byzantine culture that pluralistically coexisted and interacted with Oriental, Muslim, Jewish and Buddhistic elements within the Russian Empire. And even though Peter the Great's redesigning of Russia was westernized, it was implemented in a very traditional Russian uncompromising way beyond any appellation to common reasoning considering bioeffects or convenience. Before that, in the middle of the 17th century, there was a significant schism in the Russian Orthodox Church related to minor changes in litur liturgy, icon painting and spelling standards of certain names uh, that most likely would never worry the development of the church in the West. In Russia, it ho however, led to a severe civil war where both parties, that means both the ones supporting the adjustments and the ones reacting them, actually used the same argumentation while sharing a common theological ground. Um, so the argumentation was in both cases based on preserving the original divine order that both sides claimed to be solely in charge of when comparing the slightly worse situation in Moscow and Kiev at that time. In brief, one can say that the maximalist worldview in Russian philosophical tradition reflect the historic matter of fact that the main part of Russian society maintained medieval Byzantine paradigms before all at once being overthrown to the other extreme, the Bolshevism, rejecting the former's imperatives except the very claim on being the one and only source of absolute truth.